Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Congratulations on getting your Canadian PR. Or maybe you are someone who is wondering if moving to Canada and getting Canadian permanent residency is the right option for you. In either of the two cases, this video is a must watch for you because in today's video, we will be discussing the 10 benefits of getting Canadian permanent residency. Now, before I delve into the benefits, let me make it very clear. Canada is not a land of dreams like every other country country in the world it does have its challenges there are a lot of struggles for anyone who decides to uproot themselves from their home country and move to a new country so that is always there i have made a separate video on that i will leave the link in the description section below however like everything in life there are two sides of the coin there are also some amazing benefits of having your canadian permanent residency things are tough but it does become a little easier when you have your PR. So let's start the video but before that make sure that you hit the subscribe button. My name is Sophia and I make videos every week on how you can move to Canada, how you can build a successful life for yourself here in Canada and about life in Canada in general. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. The first benefit of moving to Canada as a Canadian PR is the ability to sponsor family members. As a Canadian PR you have the ability to sponsor your your spouse, your common law partner and your dependent children to move with you here in Canada. The joys of building a new life in Canada gets amplified when you have your loved ones with you. Not only that, as a Canadian PR, you also have the ability to sponsor your parents and your grandparents to come and live with you in Canada under the Family Class Sponsorship Program. For 2024, Canada will invite 37,500 people from the pool of potential sponsors who submitted an interest to sponsor in 2020. Now, yes, there are a lot of delays at times. However, I think this is a benefit that a lot of other countries do not offer. For, for example, one of my friends is living in Germany and he recently lost his dad. However, he cannot invite his mom to live with him for a long term because the country's immigration laws do not allow it. And that is the case with a lot of other European countries as well. So in comparison to that, I think this ability to be able to sponsor your parents as they grow older just makes it easier for you to build your life in Canada because you don't have to constantly worry about your parents living thousands of miles away from you in a separate country. They can live with you. The next amazing benefit of getting Canadian PR is that you become eligible for a lot of loans. Canadian PRs are eligible to apply for various government-backed business loans aimed at supporting small businesses and entrepreneurs, something that you are not eligible when you are on your work permit or your study permit. This access to capital can really help you grow your business venture here in Canada. Not only that, being a PR gives you access to various personal loans, lines of credits and other financial instruments. Major banks and lenders recognize your status as a Canadian PR and that allows you to apply for various personal loans and that allows you to secure financing for various personal needs like purchasing a car, home renovations or debt consolidation. Or and even if you are not eligible for certain business loans, because a lot of these loans require your business to be in operation for at least one year before you become eligible, you can still secure a personal loan and use that to grow and fund your business. I believe this is a great benefit because it helps you access your entrepreneurial dreams and also gives you access to finances for your personal or business needs. The next amazing benefit is your ability to travel visa free to over 180 countries as a Canadian PR. So no more lengthy visa application processes and going through so much paperwork. You can just pack your bags and start your new adventure. As a Canadian PR, you can easily travel to popular destinations like France, Italy, and Spain without the need for a visa, making your trip so hassle-free. I will leave a list of all the countries in the description section below. The next amazing benefit is that you no longer need TRVs or temporary resident visas. I have made a separate video on this topic. So when you are on your work permit or your postgraduate work permit, you can leave Canada, but when you want to re-enter Canada, you need to have a TRV on your passport. 
However, once you get your Canadian PR, that is no longer a problem. You don't have to go through the hassle of applying or renewing your TRVs. As a Canadian PR, you can travel, live, and even work outside Canada and re-enter the country without the need for a separate visa or permit. The next amazing benefit is universal healthcare. Of course, before I delve into this, I'm going to put out a disclaimer that yes, the Canadian healthcare system is slightly flawed. It takes ages to get an appointment with a doctor. The emergency wait times are ridiculous. But however, what I do like is that most of the healthcare is completely free of cost. Thus, it gives access to healthcare to everyone irrespective of their financial status. With your provincial health plan, you will receive comprehensive coverage for most of your medical needs, including hospital stays, doctor visits, emergency care, and even some prescription drugs with no additional cost to you. The next great benefit is social services and benefits. As a Canadian PR, you will have access to a wide range of social services and benefits designed to support you and your family. From employment insurance to pension plans and child tax benefits, these programs provide a crucial safety net for you and your family during times of need or during times of transition. Imagine losing your job unexpectedly. With employment insurance, you will receive temporary financial assistance while you search for a new opportunity, ensuring you and your family's well-being during this period of transition. The next amazing benefit is the pathway to Canadian citizenship. After living in the country for a specific amount of time, which is usually three out of five years, and if you've already been in the country on your study permit or work permit, it already counts as one year, so you just need to live two more years in Canada after getting your PR and then you can apply for Canadian citizenship. Now becoming a Canadian citizen opens more doors for you like the ability to vote, hold a Canadian passport and access to additional benefits and opportunities. Did you know that Canada has one of the highest naturalization rates in the whole world? The naturalization rate is the ratio is the ratio of the number of people that got citizenship of a country in one calendar year as compared to the number of non-residents in that country for the same year. So this really shows Canada's commitment to welcoming and integrating new members into their country. The next amazing benefit is protection under Canadian law. As a Canadian PR, you are protected under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom, ensuring that your fundamental rights and freedom is protected. You will enjoy almost the same level of legal protection as a Canadian citizen, and this really provides a sense of security and belonging in this new home that you're creating for yourself here in Canada. In fact, Canada was the first country in the world to enshrine protection for certain laws and freedoms in its constitution under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which came into effect in 1982. The next amazing benefit of having Canadian PR is the first time home buyers incentive. If you're dreaming of owning your first home in Canada as a Canadian PR, you may be eligible for the first time home buyers incentive program. This initiative provides financial assistance to make home ownership more accessible to first time home buyers, helping you take that first step to having a home of your own. Let's say you're a young professional looking to purchase your first home in, in Toronto or Vancouver or any other city. The first time home buyer incentive could provide you with shared equity mortgage, reducing your monthly mortgage payments and thus making home ownership more attainable for you. And last but not the least, the 10th amazing benefit is access to quality education. As a Canadian PR, you will have the opportunity to enroll your children you will have the opportunity to enroll your children in the public education system, which is known for its diverse curriculum and high standard of education and completely free of cost. Additionally, as a PR, you may be eligible for subsidized tuition fees. You will pay much lesser fees as a PR as compared to when you apply as an international student for certain degrees and courses at universities and colleges. Thus, 
if you are planning to pursue a higher degree, it becomes much more feasible and cheaper as a Canadian PR. These were the top 10 benefits of moving to Canada as a Canadian PR according to me. Embrace this chapter of getting Canadian PR with open arms and make the most of all the opportunities that come your way. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Canada is not without its challenges like every other country there is a lot of challenges. The cost of living currently is over the roof. The cost of living in the country, especially in the major cities, is currently over the roof. Grocery prices have skyrocketed. The prices of a one-bedroom apartment on rent in the Toronto area is unbelievable. The cost of purchasing a home is another story altogether. The prices are so high right now. And, and of course, inflation is at its all-time high. The job market currently is not really at the best stage. The PR draws have such high cutoffs that getting PR is becoming really difficult for so many people. Like even for me, my score was 507. I got my PR in October. If I had not got, I would have not received my PR with the current high score of the draws and the draws are also not very consistent. So yes, there are a lot of challenges, but every country comes with its challenges. If you plan to move to Canada as a Canadian PR, you get both the good and the bad. So make your decision accordingly. And I really hope that this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment below about what you think is the biggest benefit of having Canadian PR or what do you think is the biggest challenge that immigrants in Canada are facing right now. I think that will really help a lot of people in the community gain some insight as to what's really going on. And it's always better when we share our victories and our struggles with someone. So do let me know in the comment section below and before you go don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching till the very end see you in my next video